Yo, what's going on, you Pringle loving Pruglies? Just wanted to say that I do stream over on Twitch TV every Monday to Friday uh, from 12 to 5 p.m. Eastern. So be sure to go check that out. Just play PTCG over there on the stream. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. Link in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Today we're playing some games with a Catterday deck that I came up with on stream uh, based around the Roxy's engine. Roxy, we got four of them. Four wheezings, four coughing. So we're trying to do as much as possible with the blow away bomb ability on the wheezing and the coughing when comboed with the Roxy. Um, and then the rest of it, I guess, is pretty straightforward as far as the Catterday deck goes. We got a 3 2 Persian with a 1 Ditto and then a 4 3 Meowstic Esper line or Esper Meowstic line. One Giratina, uh, one Mew, uh, one Mimikyu to shut off abilities, mainly for Mewtwo, but I don't know if you hit a Volcarona or something with a Valley GX, why not? And then a Fion so we can push their active to the bench and then knock it out with Esper once it hits the bench. Spell tags because our main attacker is Psychic. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I really have to say on the list. The deck actually was running super well, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, yeah, let's see what, uh, what what we can do. Let's get into some games. Going first, we got a pretty good start here. We got the turn one Roxy. Unfortunately, it's not as good when our opponent doesn't have more Pokemon in play, but it looks like they are playing Tina Chomp, so they're not really gonna have a ton of Pokemon in play. Anyways, we're just gonna start with the Roxy. I'm gonna get rid of these two. Keep the Weezing around because he'll theoretically do more damage later on. Um, we got pretty much everything we could ever want here uh, going into our second turn. Gonna go ahead and calm away the Mimikyu, grab ourselves a Meowth. Um, we're gonna bench Esper, bench Esper. Spell tag, spell tag. Still, I wish we do want. I'm just gonna go with the, another Roxy, I think, here. Mm, yeah, sounds fine to me. The only thing we're really missing here is we would want a. Um, Mew, a Mew, excuse me, to protect our bench, but uh, don't have that obviously in the hand, so not going to be able to have a Mew. I guess I could have benched this other Esper and attached a spell tag to it, but in case our opponent is playing Roxy Chomp, I don't want it to get all that Roxy damage on all my Pokemon if I can avoid it. So yeah, we're going to avoid that by not benching this uh, second Esper, even though we do have the spell tag for it as well. Eh, I'm kind of like torn on whether or not I should have, but uh, going to go with not for now and hope that ends up being the correct play and there's a pass from our opponent all right we'll see if we can't find ourselves well there's a treasure so we could go get ourselves another wheezing but i kind of want to hit with a meow stick on this turn um but i don't really want to give up just one wheezing yeah we're gonna go ahead and get another wheezing out of the deck we'll probably find a way to move another pokemon I'm gonna go ahead and grab another wheezing meow mew is in there two escape boards are in there as well um that's what we're looking for we're looking for escape boards Looking for Mew and Meow Stick. There's the Meow Stick. Did get a treasure, so we can get a Mew. We're gonna go ahead and go treasure, get rid of Jirachi, grab ourselves a Mew to protect our bench from getting linear attack, because we don't want that. Throw down Mew, throw down Meow Stick. Gonna bench the Esper this turn, attach the uh, spell tag, and then Stellar Wish again. Looks like, well, we have another Roxy. There's the escape board though, so I think I'm just gonna start swinging with the meow stick. Um, yeah, escape board's pretty nice. May as well get this first knockout. Don't let them use it as a Miss Magus and go ahead and with the go ahead and just hit them with the perplexing eyes here and shut down the potential of that be, being able to be utilized as a Miss Magus. Communication not really gonna do anything, but we are basically fully set up. This is a full setup from the uh, Catterday deck. Um, there's a Roxy from our opponent. We'll see how many Weezings are involved. The one thing we are kind of scared of is if they do get six spread and knock out like our Mew and they can start linear attacking. But usually at that point, a little bit too late in the game for that to actually be relevant. Now, we've already taken a knockout on the Mismagus, so that means they can't use the Baby Blacephalon for the full effect. So, as of right now, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I think as, as of right now, we're definitely in a pretty good spot. We'll see what our opponent has to throw at us, if they can come up with anything to really disrupt our current setup there's an attachment they can use calamitous slash if they want to but that is just fine with me i don't really care if they go ahead and calamitous slash us uh, we'll survive just fine through a calamitous slash um and yeah maintain our uh pretty good position here for sure treasure away with another miss magus that's not gonna do i mean i don't know what they're gonna grab here maybe get another mischievous um like i said like because we already took a knockout 
They won't be able to use the Baby Blacephalon for the full effect. They are going after Baby Blacephalon though. Well, I guess they could. It's just very unlikely they'll be able to because we've already knocked out one mischievous. Um, <clears throat> yeah, very unlikely that they would be able to. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and knock out this Baby Blacephalon. We only have two Roxy left, so it's unlikely we see one off of Stellar Wish. So if we put four here, we could knock it out with the Ear Kinesis. We could also force this to the bench and hit it harder with Ear Kinesis. Um, but it actually is weak to Psychic right now, so I kind of just want to hit it with a uh, bigger cat, the Meow Stick. Um, so we hit him for 140, 260. So I'm just going to put all four here, I guess. Uh, send up Jirachi to the active. I think I'm going to Stellar Wish. I'll Stellar Wish before I communication. Rough Return is a spell tag. Stellar Wish. Did get a Poke Gear. Hoping for some kind of supporter. I mean, uh. Roxy would be okay, but I think I, yeah, I prefer a Cynthia here for sure. Uh, we have a Esper, we have a spell tag for it, we have Calm, we can get rid of Weezing, grab ourselves the Meow Stick like I was talking about. Put that in play. I think I, I mean, I could bench Fion, but I think I'd rather bench a Meowth if I can find a Meowth, so we're just gonna go ahead, play the Cynthia. Got a Ditto that works just as well, to be honest, so now we're just gonna go over Treat and. Perplexing eyes once again. Now we're gonna hit for wait, didn't it? Uh, what are we perplexing? Oh, we practiced perplexing eyes and mischievous last turn. Okay, okay, okay. This is still fine. This is still not the big of a deal. Uh, yeah, definitely messed up there overall. Um, for some reason, I thought we were hitting a little bit harder uh, than we were, but we knocked out a mischievous on the last turn. All right, now this guy is now weak to psychic and they need to heal him somehow. Should have put the spell tag damage on the active as well. Completely messed up there. I should have gone like two and two on the spell tag damage. It's fine. We're still in a good spot. There's another Tina Chomp. So the rest of our prize cards are probably coming from these two Tina Chomps. Uh, if they put a Mischievous in play, we could go after Blacephalon Mischievous and a Tina Chomp. Um, but yeah, for right now, the game plan is knock out both these Tina Chomps as they eventually make their way into play. Uh, currently, this guy is stuck in the active, and we're actually going to be hitting it for 240 next turn. Unlike this turn where I said I was going to hit it for 240, but I'm not actually going to hit it for 240. But I think actually, actually, uh, we did prize our third Meow Stick. So we actually can't hit this guy for 240. However, we could put it to, push it to the bench with Fion and then snipe it with Ear Kinesis. That also works just fine. You can also look to do that because um, it has 90 on it, I believe. Yeah, we got 90 on it. 180 if we use the Ear Kinesis. 180 plus 90 to 70. So we could do that. Um, we'll be just fine. We have a calm. We can grab that with treasure away the Jirachi. Maybe grab uh, something else. There's a switch and a Mallow and Lana. Um, they can't use the Mallow and Lana this turn because they just use greens. But they could play the switch. Not that it would do a whole ton, I don't think. There's an attach. I wonder if they're actually going to go with. Well, they can't GG end actually. I was going to say I wonder if they're going to go with GG end, but I guess they're just attaching because they're tied on prizes now, uh, which does make sense. It makes sense to attach. Um, so we're going to put all the spell tag damage on this Garchomp Caratina here. There we go. Goodbye, Meowstic. Put it all here. Yeah, this is, where all, this is where the last of our prize cards is coming from. These two Garchomp Giratinas. That's the plan, anyways, to knock both of them out. Um, I messed up the Meowstic thing. It's fine. We're back. I've recovered. I'm gonna treasure away this. Just get ourselves another uh, Esper. Yep. I'm gonna calm away a Weezing. Grab ourselves the Fion. We're then going to Whirlpool Suction force our opponent to send up something else so that way we can then ear kinesis knock this thing out for 200 damage and that's the game plan there we go whirlpool suction i have no idea what they would actually send up here i was about to say they'll probably send up but actually i'm not sure what they'll actually send up here we'll see goes with the baby blacephalon bench esper play something looking for a shrine here which i think shrine would be ideal here just to get start getting more damage in play no shrine stellar wish there's the shrine also a spell tag, but I don't really need the spell tag because I can just send up this Esper. Trying to play. And then retreat, and then we will. Ear Kinesis finally knock out this Tina Chomp. I thought we were knocking it out. Well, I didn't think we were going to knock it out. I thought we'd do more damage on it earlier, but it's fine. Get our first knockout, get ourselves three prize cards. Go down to two prize cards, meaning our opponent, while well, they can put a Mischievous in play, they probably just don't want to. If they really wanted to, they could. It just wouldn't be very good. Um, but they definitely could if they really wanted to. Got another one of our Lana's Fishing Rods. Get back a Spell Tag. Get back an Esper because we're kind of just starting to run out of Pokemon to attack with. 
Uh, maybe we'll get a meow stick as well to make the ditto into a meow stick. We can also make it a Persian if we ever want to. We can just keep it as a ditto for right now as well. Our bench is protected. They haven't been playing Roxy's down. Um, so they're not threatening to knock it out at all, which is nice. So we can just kind of chill there. So we could Lana's Fishing Rod, get back Meow Stick and a Spell Tag, make this thing into a Meow Stick. There's a Power Plant. Not surprised. They've gathered quite a pretty. They've gathered a pretty big hand, so them having a Power Plant really isn't that big of a surprise here. We have a Shrine Response as we got one out of our prize card, so that's cool. Yeah, there's the Lure Ball. Um, I assume they're. I mean, anything past the Weezing is nice, but I assume they're really just trying to get the Weezing here to play down our Roxies um, to spread some more damage into play yep there's the roxy they need to do quite a bit though there's double wheezing so if they go back to back double wheezings they can knock out our ditto so that is what i'm a little scared of so we definitely want to try and evolve the ditto this turn ideally and i think i can go into a persian on this turn i think i'd be comfortable just going into a persian on this turn um i think we'd be in a fine spot if i just make it into a persian so that's the plan make that ditto into a persian if i have to make it into a meow stick i will just not what I'm looking to do. If it ends up that way, that's fine. There's a reset stamp to two. Always going to be a little bit annoying, but shouldn't really be that big of a deal. Okay, that's going to be... Well, they are knocking us out. Or not... Oh, okay, they are knocking us out with linear attack. So we're going to be able to just go ahead and send up Jirachi. Use a stellar wish. Get ourselves a draw supporter, hopefully. And then we'll be back in business. Going to put all four here. We can actually end the game on this turn if we are able to find... All we simply need actually is... Uh, all we need is uh, Fionn. And we actually win the game. So Stellar Wish. There's communication. Communication. Get rid of. Doesn't matter. Uh, I guess the Mimikyu. Because he's technically the most useless card in the hand. We're going to grab ourselves a Fion. It'll push this guy to the bench. And then we can snipe it with the Ear Kinesis once again. For 180. And we'll take this dub over the Roxy Chomp. I have been finding this matchup to be pretty good. In the games that I have played against it. Just because they can't really uh, keep up with the onslaught of one prize espers with spell tags that uh can ear can just knock out tina chomps when you put them to the bench and uh hit them for 180 when they only have 90 damage on it and that's it and get the dub no telling what kind of shenanigans our opponents got going on but this is one of the reasons we do play the Mimikyu uh it's for situations like this where our opponent has a lot of shenanigans um definitely still valley gx's and Mimikyu can shut down those abilities quick fast um, okay, this is a uh, hand here. Um, okay, I'm going to treasure away a spell tag here. I'm going to grab myself that uh, Mimikyu with the Shadow Box. They went draw pass, so if they have anything in hand, it's probably a Savali GX. So I just want to stop it in its tracks. I will go ahead and throw down a shrine because I probably have to be the first person to initiate the Stadium War. That was a very interesting draw off Roxy's. I believe it was like triple spell tag. It was a whole lot of nothing, basically. That's basically what we drew into, was a whole bunch of nothing. You can Air Slash. Okay, they do have the Evolution. He does only hit for 50, though, unless they play a Supporter. And they can't draw cards, so it is going to work out here. Uh, Persian does have Free Retreat, so now we are in business there. Persian Evolve. No, uh, what's it called to work with? Uh, Meow Stick. Or Esper, which would have been nice. Esper on the bench with a Spell Tag. Put him to the active. There's an Esper, though. Um, so Esper, going to come down for sure. And then we're going to probably just snipe this War Turtle. Is there anything else I want to do here? Probably not. Just go ahead, retreat. And here, Kinesis. I'm just going to go ahead and punch the War Turtle. It's got 20 on it. It's going to take 40. Be up to 60. Next turn, we can do 120 with an Esper. Probably knock it out. Clean it up from there. They currently don't even do enough damage to knock out our Esper. There's a Blastoise GX. But uh, it'll save it for a little while. But they're actually not even knocking out our Esper yet still. Um, so Esper yet still. Yeah, they're not like out of Esper yet still, so we're still in a ridiculously good spot. Yeah, I'm just chilling now at this point. This is feeling pretty good. There's an Esper top tech. We have a Meowstick in hand. I think I'm gonna go with calm away the Meowstick. Grab ourselves. Oops, I don't actually think I wanted to go with that actually. Um grab coffee. Uh treasure away. The shrine i guess now at this point yeah that's not quite what i wanted to do that's what i did but definitely want to do something different uh whatever here we go roxy get rid of these two hopefully find ourselves some new cards some good cards some some spell tags are good uh we have another esper to combo with them as well um i think we're knocking this thing out how much is on it but it takes what reduced to 30 all right so we're not gonna quite knock it out i don't think we got pretty close um maybe if they finally knock us out next turn um, we'll actually knock it out with spell tag. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Okay, we're actually knocking it out. We're doing 180 damage. Um, oh, is it only when it's in the active? 
Um, felt like it should have taken less damage there. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm actually not going to do the math in my head because I don't want to look like an idiot. I'm just going to go ahead and say, well, it's knocked out, so that's all we need to do. There we go. Ear Kinesis knock that guy out. We can Ear Kinesis knock out this guy. Load up this guy with the spell tag damage. Uh, send up our Persian. Um, so yeah, our opponent would have been fine if we weren't playing a deck that shuts off their abilities with the um, mimic you, but we are. So, yep, and there's a concession. Not really surprised. I pretty much locked out of the game on turn one once we put the mimic you in play. I was like, well, kind of drew past, but they definitely have two Savali or two type null in play, so they could definitely still have a Savali GX in their hand, which they did. Which they can't use while Shadow Box is in play while the Savali's damaged. Going first in this one, Esper start. Got a supporter. We got a Jirachi top tech as well. We can throw a skateboard on him. Spell tech active. Uh, Meowth onto the bench and then play a Cynthia. No idea what our opponent's playing. Probably doesn't matter. Oof. Not a whole lot else to work with in the hand. And I guess we are passing over to our opponent. Yeah, this hand. Uh, I mean, if we had Jirachi in the active, Stellar Wish would have given us probably a lot of stuff to work with. Uh, not today, though. This is what we're working with right now. Uh, hopefully, they'll knock out our active sometime soon. And then we'll be able to. Uh, get access to the uh jirachi yeah we kind of need them to actually knock out our active here sooner than later if they actually like because we don't have access to a uh persian here we could be in trouble and they could kind of trap our active in our active which would kind of stink um so if we could just like top deck a communication or a persian will be just fine uh, but if we don't do that and they could just sit here with mew and just like ping meowth over and over again um, because our hand is currently dead, unfortunately. Um, but there we go. They switched out into the Jirachi. They played Cynthia, playing Energy Spinner. So we should be okay. They probably will be going after our Esper, hopefully sometime soon with a Gira Giratina. Hopefully. There's a treasure. I'm just going to go ahead and assume grabbing a Giratina. We'll see what they actually get here. All right, it's an NK. I mean, it's still pretty reasonable. NK is still pretty reasonable hopefully they just don't do what i said i don't want them to do and we'll be okay all another thing we want to try and avoid is our opponents uh, we'll try and skip the three prize turn um that our opponent can have there's a trevnor grab actually early on here so are they going for an early trevnor that could be scary uh for sure trevnor is always kind of scary they went for an early trevnor grab we'll see if they actually bench it and attach to it there's a stellar wish to close out their turn it looks like Yep, there's the Trevnor to the bench, so they are going with an early Trevnor here. Uh, that might be what their deck focuses around, actually, potentially. Um, there is a Persian top deck, though, so we are not really saved. We weren't really in that bad of a spot to begin with, but uh, don't have to worry quite as much anymore. Gonna go ahead and just grab a Meowstic and just start swinging. Um, our opponent might not have the turn to, so we may as well put on some pressure onto this Jirachi. There's no reason not to, really, so yeah gonna go ahead and um hmm, we could just catter and draw three cards as well though that wouldn't be terrible i think i'd rather get the damage in play <clears throat> hit for 50 not a whole ton of damage but uh, gives us something to work with that's for sure and yeah like i said we want to skip our opponents baby will set the long turn don't want to go down to three prize cards we want to skip it we want to go straight down to two prize cards if possible and we should be able to do uh do just that especially with the trevnor in play we can go like uh knock out jirachi or knock out anything really um and then knock out the trevnor and then we'll go from you know five to two and then we'll be all good we'll skip it we'll be good to go from there there's also a mew in play that we can mess around with that has low hp once we get some Ro roxies going we have spell tags as well yeah we'll be in a pretty good spot here i think no matter what our opponent does um, as long as our jirachi actually finds us something on our next turn as long as our stellar wish actually finds us something yep yeah, there's a judge kind of like i expected if they are going that aggressive with the Trevnor, they probably have something access to something like a Judge in hand, like they do. And now here's where it can get a little bit uh, annoying, I guess. Yeah, we'll just kind of wait and see what they take away from us. And then what we're able to find again off of the... Uh, took our Roxy and our... Uh, what's it called? That's pretty annoying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I think, all four on the... Trevenant uh, Dustnor here. Uh, but now if we get a Roxy, we still have our Pokemon to work with. So we have two Pokemon to draw six cards. Uh, we'll see what we draw. Is a Roxy top deck. That's pretty good. Uh, can't really complain too much about that. 
only thing we were really potentially missing there was access to more... What are they called? Go ahead, throw down this guy. Attach a spell tag. Um, Actually, I could have done that differently. Let's go with a Stellar Wish here. I'm going to grab another spell tag. I'm actually just going to Distortion Door. Oh, but what if they don't knock it out? This is where I could get in trouble. Um, for sure. But we're going to go like this. <clears throat> and then I'm going to attach a spell tag to it and retreat. We could definitely get in trouble with this for sure. Um, if our opponent realizes what's going on, they could just retreat to Mew and start using Psy Power. But then they do risk us just having a switch. Um, which would be really reasonable for me to play in my deck, which I don't play. I'm hoping that they actually just go with... Uh, I mean, I guess they could even GX attack us to get around the spell tag. Which I'd be fine with as well. Um, I kind of want to like wait a turn. Yeah, there's the Pale Moon GX. Okay, so they go with the GX attack, but that's fine with me. I just really wanted to wait a turn. Wait out a turn of not doing what I was doing. Like I wanted just a, a turn to work with here. So this is actually fine that they played it this way. I'm going to go ahead and Alana's Fishing Rod actually get back the Esper and the Spell Tag. Or do I want the... Yeah, let's go with the Esper and the Spell Tag. And then Aroxy's <clears throat> get rid of these two. We will get a prize card on this Jirachi. So our prize cards are coming from Jirachi, this guy, Mew, and Malamar. That's where our, our six prize cards are going to be coming from. Do get one prize card here. Let's see what we get. It is a Persian. Not bad. Never bad to have another Persian around. I am going to bench this Jirachi, and that is what we're going to send up to our opponent after our Giratina gets knocked out here. I'm going to send up this Jirachi. <clears throat> Didn't really want to send up anything else, basically. Uh, yeah, so go Jirachi. And we're, we're in a pretty good spot. We're in a pretty good spot here. We just need to get through that Mew and the Malamar are going to be the hardest things to get through. And eventually, we'll Fion this to the bench and knock it out with... Uh, the Esper's Ear Kinesis. Probably just gonna go ahead and punch it for one or for 70 on this next turn. Um Lana's fishing rod again. We're gonna get back the Meow Stick. We're gonna get back another spell tag. Just wanna keep the spell tags in play and rolling. And yeah, we're we're set up. Our opponent has four prize cards left, so we should have plenty of time to close this one out. Like I said, our prize cards are coming from Trevnor, Mew, and this Malamar here, because it has 30 and this one has 20. So that's the game plan to knock out those three Pokemon. That'll be our last five prize cards. And uh, should be pretty good. I completely forgot they got to shuffle more cards back into our deck. Pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying to deal with the constant shuffling of our Pokemon back into our deck. The Meowstic would have been nice to keep. Not too big of a deal, though, I don't think. We're going to grab back the Meowstic and the Spell Tag. And then go ahead and play Cynthia. Four, five, six. <clears throat> Stellar Wish. I'm going to grab myself a Spell Tag. Yes. Yes, Spell Tag here. Evolve to Meowstic. We still, get, we still did get the Meowstic evolution, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and punch it with the Perplexing Eyes for 70. Uh, this turn, when we get knocked out, we will be able to proc the spell tag. I can go ahead and put damage on the Mew and the Malamar. Um, uh, it's getting close, though, actually. This matchup is actually getting pretty close. The Mew is definitely what we want to knock out. I guess if they had the Lonitz Fishing Rod, they could recover the Mew and put it back into play, which would be very annoying. To deal with but it's possible we can knock out the trevnor on this turn uh we do have roxy for one wheezing um but once again if they attack with trevnor that is cards that they can potentially just take out of our hand so that's annoying um but i would like to use a roxy combo this turn that is for sure definitely want to try and use a roxy combo there's a second trevnor we're gonna have to deal with now okay that's getting annoying i don't think they can set it up this turn uh well they're pretty close they probably could set it up, actually, if they really wanted to. We'll see. They're basically just playing Trevnor Malamar is uh, is what we're up against here. There's the Night Watch. Um, and I'm actually curious. Do we get to put our Spell Tag damage first, or do they get to... Oh, they took our Roxy and our Weezing. Okay. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. So we're not using Roxy Weezing this turn. Almost certainly. Almost certainly not using Roxy and Weezing this turn. Uh, but if we do get Roxy and Weezing for two in the future... I want to go probably can get one more spell tag off, but I might not be able to. So I should go like one here, one, two, three here. Oh, I do have Giratina in the discard pile as well. I forgot about Distortion Door. So Distortion Door will add up as well. Um, we just need to get this guy to the bench with Fion after we KO the Mew. That has to be our overall gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and put my Mew down. 
just to have it around. Play the Cynthia. Looking for a Roxy combo on this next turn, <clears throat> at the very least, then I guess is going to be our game plan. Stellar Wish. I'm going to grab a Roxy for the hand. We do have Roxy wheezing coughing, so we're basically set up to pull it off. Bench Esper, could I I could evolve it next turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw actually just throw a spell type on a Mew and then retreat to the Mew and pass. And then we'll let the more more damage stack up. We can use the spell tag here. If this thing does go to the bench, we can snipe it with Esper. So it going to the bench really isn't that big of a deal. If they do knock us out, the spell tag damage will be able to, will mean we'll be able to knock out the Mew and the Malamar. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be in a pretty good spot. I guess the only thing I'm scared of right now is that our opponent brings up their Mew and starts using Psy Power and doesn't knock out our active Mew. That's what I'm scared of here. That would be pretty annoying. Uh, but that means they would have to make the call that we don't play Switch. Um, which wouldn't be that unreasonable. I've actually thought about putting a Recycle Energy in the deck to kind of play around these situations where I like either I open Coughing or I want to send up the Mew for a turn. Or I can even use Psy Power then if I have a recycle energy in the deck so one of recycle energy is something i've definitely been thinking about adding to the deck for these situations um and the more they kind of happen i think well one of recycle energy would be pretty good to have around just to make sure our opponent can't do any shenanigans like well i don't want to do anything this turn and i know you can't or i'm hoping you can't do anything anything and then just pass and then we actually can't do anything and then we just lose the game um so to avoid those situations i think i would add a, a what's it called to the deck um at some point Put a put a uh, oh what's it called uh recycle energy yeah so we can make sure we can keep things mobile there's a night watch though so now we have to find ourselves the uh fion okay they got rid of our shrine and our other thing I'm not gonna say what's it called so I'm gonna put uh no we could hit it with the so we can put uh we can Roxy for one the Roxy for one here one here so we need one here and then three here and then actually if we just get a um meow stick we can now knock out the active and we'll knock out the bench with just the roxy for one because we do have the giratina in the discard pile so we need fion or the other guy I'm gonna go ahead and use this grab a cynthia I'm gonna go ahead and use a another one grab ourselves a nothing i'm gonna look at my discard pile real fast two treasure left i'm going to sell a wish into a treasure grab that and then we're going to roxy actually i was thinking i would use the treasure for another wheezing but we're not actually going to do that we're just going to do this ping 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 and then we're going to go ahead bring back with the distortion door knock out the mew and the malamar and then we're going to treasure for a small cat or a bigger cat the meow stick and then we'll do 70 damage which will be just enough to knock this guy out hey we got one out of the prize cards that works even better or just a little bit overkill i guess we're overkilling by 30 damage here with the perplexing eyes and there's a concession from our opponent and we'll take another dub with the catterday deck hope you guys enjoyed this video on this uh very cool interesting deck obviously not like a tier one competitive deck or anything but it's super fun so check it out hope you guys have had fun watching the video hope you're enjoying the content like share comment subscribe all that cool stuff thanks for watching have a good day and peace